I want y'all to take a look at this baby's face because y'all know it can be a danger to put these children's faces out there. But in this case, if the children have already passed away, they're no longer in danger. So there's really no danger as far as putting the children's picture out there once they are posthumous. But we're getting ready to talk about these two jackass people on my screen who believe in love, but they don't believe in taking care of children. They believe in reproducing but they don't give a shit about their kids. They believe more in their own personal pleasures than they do taking care of the children that they produce. I've warned ladies about bringing these strange niggas into your, look at this strange looking dude like you. Why do you look like that? Why does he look like that? Go back, look at his face. Look like he's trying, like he's holding his breath to take a shit or something. Weird looking ass nigga. Look at this, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. Like this dude is just a funny looking dude. Like seriously. Like he done got in a boxing match with Joe Lewis and then messed his face up. I'm just saying. But let's talk about these weirdos. Ha get, your, get your hashtag TTOs and hashtag TTT. Get them ready, guys, because we are getting ready to talk about this story. Let's get it. <sighs> guys, we're getting ready to talk about these two young men. I, I, I mean, sorry. Guys, we're getting ready to talk about this mother that looking like a man and this blowfish looking creature over there on the other side of the screen those two people are being held responsible for the death of a baby that was only five months old right let's talk about the story a macon georgia mother and her boyfriend are accused in the burning death of her five month old son mark that word her five month old son who investigators say was left alone in front of a hot space heater for more than seven hours. And they made their first court appearance on Wednesday. I want you to take a mental note of that. They left a five, count them, five month old baby in front of a space heater. Bookmark that, we'll come back to it. The young man, I mean, or woman, Whatever she is, I guess she's a woman because she gave birth, but she don't look like a woman. I mean, she kind of looked funny looking. I don't know. I don't know. That person down there, the shorter person, <laughs> Jalisha Aquanetta Kent. Oh my goodness. I never even looked at her middle name. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's go back. Let's pause. Let's take a pause for the cause. Her real name is is Jalisha, J-A-L-I-C-I-A, -A, Aquanetta. It took me a moment to look at it. It's spelled A-Q-U-A, -A, Aqua, and then Netta, N-E-T-T-A. That's Aquanetta, right? Kent, K-E-N-T is the last name. Jalisha Aquanetta Kent. I'm just saying, for all my fellas out there, just going forward, just know that you are choosing a horrible woman if she has the name Aquanetta. That is not the woman you should be having kids by. Just thought I'd throw that out there. But do y'all want to make this thing worse? What do y'all think the name is of her blowfish face looking boyfriend? Y'all want to take a crack at his name? Let's 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 take let's play the game for a moment. What do y'all think? And his name is Ghetto by the name, by, by the way. What do y'all think his name is? Anybody want to take a guess? And by the way, the mother is 28 years old. The boyfriend, not the husband, and not the father of this kid. We'll get there. He's 30 years old. Do y'all want to take a guess as to what his name is? Oh, funny looking ass dude. Somebody said Nemo. <laughs> Okay, are you ready for this? 
Quantius. Actually, Nirvana was pretty damn close. His name is Quantius. Quantius. Do you think I'm lying? Do you think I'm just making a joke right now? Quantius. Tell me how do you pronounce it? Maybe I'm wrong. Let's spell it. Q-U-A-N Quan T-I-O-U-S. How the fuck else would you pronounce that? Quantius. Quantius. Aquanetta and Quantius. Man. Mm. You know what? Sometimes the jokes just make themselves. I'm just saying. Guys, that is his real name. Quantius Trinard, T-R-E-N-A-R-D, Hodges, who was 30 years old. <laughs> and they were both charged with second degree murder said little as they each heard the crime or charge against them being read. Aquanetta and Quantius. Oh my goodness. The authority, let me let, me let the pictures roll. Let me let y'all see the rest of these ridiculous pictures that I was able to find on Facebook, right? The authorities have declined to provide much detail about the circumstance of the five month old baby and let's take a pause for this beautiful baby boy. Even ghetto ass parents with horrible names that look weird as hell can make beautiful babies. That is a beautiful baby boy. His name was Imir Kent, spelled M, excuse me, I M I R, Emir. Emir Kent was only five months old. Quantius, what is that, a physics class? <laughs> Thank you, Larry. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. That's a good one. That little boy's name is Imir Kent. And authorities haven't given a lot of details other than to say that the child was left in a bedroom in a car seat that he apparently got out of the car seat and somehow got onto the heater, the space heater. That baby right there, yes, it's a beautiful baby. Absolutely is. Absolutely is. And I was thankful that I took a little extra time to make sure that I got the correct photo of that baby because he deserves some respect, okay? The boy's death was discovered Tuesday morning at a house on Bishop Road, just west of, of the shopping center at Presidential Parkway on Macon's West Side. The child was pronounced dead after EMS arrived, he was found alone in a room near a space heater. And he was found that he had been there in that room by himself for seven hours. Seven hours. Seven hours. I want y'all to picture this. They say that these two fools left this child in a car seat. First and foremost, why would you leave a child in a car seat? Is there any explanation for leaving a five month old baby in a car seat? Do they have the same mother? I'm really sitting here and can't stop laughing. Quantius and Aquanetta. Just, man, just some wild names for sure. Seven hours. And let me put this into proper perspective. I want y'all to understand this. The baby was burned so severely and had multiple burns that the baby died. I want you guys to understand this. As much as we try to be comical when we can because these stories are so sad, 
Thank you. Where's the crib? Thank you. That Now you're starting to get it. This is why I love having the open chat so you guys can tell me what you think live. MMO girl said, who leaves that baby for seven hours? Seven hours, no feeding, no diaper change, no bath, no checkup, and, and an uncomfortable car seat. Now you guys are starting to understand why they are getting charges. Because accidents do happen, but this is why they're being charged because we, the normal people, a normal person would think you would have to check on a five month old baby, right? Most people would, most responsible parents would. Even if this wasn't your kid, if you were in the house with a kid and you see somebody brought in a seven month old baby and they were just sitting there hour after hour, any person would go check on a five month old baby, right? You would think, I gotta take a sip of this Red Bull. This stuff is really good. It's called the Summer Edition Watermelon. If y'all haven't tried this stuff, I try every new Red Bull that comes out. I gotta say, this one's pretty damn good. Cause I'ma need it tonight. Seven hours. Another thing that I haven't noticed anybody posted in the po in the uh, comment section. What does burning flesh smell like? I'm going to make y'all put y'all thinking hats on tonight. What does burning flesh smell like? Especially in a house or an apartment in a small confined area. What do y'all think that smell was like throughout the house? Throughout that house. That's not a big house. That's the house right there on my screen. What type of smell do you guys think that emanated throughout that house in a seven hour span? Burning flesh, human flesh, has a very distinct smell. You guys can actually talk to police, talk to investigators, hell, talk to some firefighters. I've got an uncle who's a firefighter that can tell you that there is a very, very distinct smell about burning flesh. So my point about that, how was this not done intentionally knowing that you would smell that smell distinctly in that house? You cannot mistake that. And even if you smell something that smells like it's burning or smell something that smells weird, why would your first instinct not to be to go check on the baby? Hmm? What about a baby screaming? He's five months old. His lungs are very developed by this point. You also have to imagine, why didn't anybody else react to this child screaming? I want y'all to imagine that. In a small house that has multiple adults in it. But, can I add some more? Can I add some more to the story? Can I, do y'all mind? Can I tell you a little more before we get there? Cause they do have an autopsy scheduled, but check this out. There were a total of three adults in the house. Three. I'm gonna tell you guys something else that the news is not telling you. That fool right there with the... He looked like that old, I can't remember that creature's name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all got to look him up. I can't remember his damn name, but it's an old school thing. It was it came from my childhood. I can't remember that damn weird ass movie. He has multiple children and the mother has multiple children. She at least has two. This, I think maybe being their third, their third kid. So there is a possibility that not only three adults were there, but there's a possibility that there also might've been a high probability that other children were there. Meaning more people would have had to ignore this, right? The baby's mother, her boyfriend, that dude, and the boyfriend's brother lived at that home 
at this time. His brother, him, and Aquanetta, three adults, three niggas, under one roof, three niggas ignored a five-month-old baby inside of a house. Before I get to the rest of my points, let me move on with the story. Hodges, that fool, What's, what's his name again? Quantius. <laughs> Quantius is not the baby's father, according to the sheriff's office of five-month-old Emir Kent. How many of y'all are surprised by that? And I want to know how many people are disgusted by that. Let me put that into perspective because we've had to do this before. We've had to do this before. Let me point in... in let me, let me describe to y'all how disgusting that is. That means 12, 17 months. In less than 17 months, she crawled from underneath another dude having sex with another dude raw. Within five months of having this kid, she's already talking about hashtag blessed with another man, with a child that's not even old enough to walk yet. And we wonder why the STD rate is as high as it is. Do y'all really think that they were using prophylactics? I doubt it. They both look stupid. I'm just saying, they both look dumb as hell. So we could only imagine that they were probably having irresponsible sex in less than five months of her giving birth from another man that just lastly crawled out of her 17 months ago. At the very latest, maybe he slept with her right after she had the baby, but we don't know that. We don't know. We're just going to give her credit and say that she met this man in less than five months. So the most that they could have been together is either five months or even while she was pregnant, which would be even weirder. Let me not get too weird right now. Let me just tell the rest of the story, okay? Now, murder warrants in the case contend that Quantius Hodges place the baby in front of a hot space heater for over seven hours. Hashtag, when you date thugs, you date death. Black Samurai already knows what time it is. Hashtag, when you date thugs, you date death. Hashtag, babies for benefits. Hashtag TTO, hashtag TTT. Keyshawn's got damn near all of our hashtags. Thank you, Keyshawn. Murder warrants contend that Quantius placed the baby in front of a hot space heater for over seven hours. First and foremost, why does the mother not care about this baby? So look at him. The mom didn't care about that baby at all. So much to the point to where she said, here, take him and do whatever you want to do with him. You know what he said? You know what? I'm going to cook this baby. And then I'm going to just act like it was just an accident. They took that baby. He took that baby and set that baby in front of a hot space heater with the baby in the car seat for seven hours roasting this baby rotisserie style like he just I don't understand I don't second degree murder charges against Kent who is 28 years old Aquanetta and 30 year old 
Quantius indicate that the alleged killing may not have been intentional. To me, it sounds very intentional, okay? Now, according to Georgia law, because we do want to respect the law, a second degree murder charge can, when applied to a cruelty to children offense, be brought irrespective of malice. So they have to determine whether it was done on purpose or not. And it's very, to be honest with you guys, it's hard to prove. It's not what you know. It's not what you think. It's what you can prove in court. I'm sure everybody here understands that. All right. Now, if you guys would do me a favor, we're doing pretty good right now. If you guys would do me a favor and click that thumbs up, we should have close to about 250 thumbs up. We're about a hundred thumbs up shy. So if we could just get a commitment from a hundred people to click that thumbs up, we've already got people like Iris donating. Let me say thank you to Iris for donate for donating in the super chat. Thank you to Nirvana. Thank you to mom's fur babies, to Larry, to Pamela, all of you guys that have donated so far, Jimmy D all of you guys that have donated so far. And we have one more, if I can read this real quick from, uh Oh, what, what, what's going on? My phone's spazzing out. That's not good. I think this is Rachel. Rachel, are you out there? I see you, Rachel. Rachel just donated. I got you. I got you, Rachel. I got you. I'll read it in a minute. So thank you. Thank you for telling me not to read it on air. Thank you very much for that. All right. Now, it's not what you know. It's what you can prove in court. And somebody asked earlier, who was that that asked where the biological father is? Because whoever asked that, that means that you were paying attention. This woman had that blowfish looking, slow ass looking, turtle face looking ass nigga living under her roof with her kids. And you know what? This nigga was bold enough. He said, you know what? Since you're going to be so nice to me, why don't you let my brother move inside the house too and live off of your back and live off of the benefits that the government has given yo ass yo ass right all of them are taking advantage of the system she's taking advantage of the system because she has multiple kids that she's probably getting child support for she's probably in that house underneath section 8 I'm just taking a wild guess but you can tell me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure she don't work no kind of reputable job. Just keep having kid after kid after kid. Because one would have to ask if you really cared about these kids and if you weren't just having them for the benefits that you could collect from these kids, then why would you not show greater concern for your child? Understand this. This bitch wasn't at work. This pussy nigga wasn't at work. And the brother wasn't at work. How do you have a 28 year old, a 30 year old and another adult that is over the age of 18, three black people who were not at work during a weekday. Hmm. Interesting, huh? For seven whole hours said, Jay, you are rarely wrong. That's my point. <laughs> if I'm wrong, I don't mind admitting when I'm wrong but you're gonna have to prove that I'm wrong. That's for damn sure. P-Man 007, O's up. Shout out, bro, thank you. Said you're trying to donate by Cash App and it won't let you. If you can, cool. If you can utilize PayPal, cool. If you can't do any of them, you could try a Super Chat. If that doesn't work, just click the thumbs up. That always helps, I promise. I wouldn't stress too much about it. If you can figure it out, cool. If not, did the baby suffer? I want you to think about this. The baby died of his burns. The baby died of his burns. It was five months old. If the baby died from a space heater, there's only a couple of ways that this might've happened. A, from heat exhaustion, from, from being in front of that thing for so long that it just made you pass out and you just burned up. Or 
what the story said is that the baby got out of the car seat and got onto the space heater. Y'all got to tell me if y'all think that was painful for a five month old baby to go through. Said that the baby suffer. I mean, I'm just saying, but again, if you guys would do me a favor and click that thumbs up and please share the stream and help other people know that we're live. We only got 151 thumbs up. I'm still asking for more people to come in and click that thumbs up. So if we have 250 people here, that means we should at least have that many thumbs up, please. That's all I'm asking for. Okay. Five months old, that baby can barely crawl. That baby would have screamed. You would have heard it. That baby would have smelled from the burning smell. You would have smelled it throughout that entire house. And it was seven hours. You can't not check on a child, any child, any human being that is an adolescent for seven hours. That just makes no sense. You don't think the baby was able to get out of the car seat? I I don't know. But let me, and, and more donations are coming in. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Shout out to Rose for upgrading her channel membership. Rose, you know you are amazing. Rose Harmon in the building. Thank you so much for upgrading your channel membership. Thank you so much for that. I always appreciate when you guys do that. The murder warrants go on to say that the infant was left alone in a separate bedroom with the door closed in front of a hot space heater from 10 p.m. on Monday to 6 a.m. on Tuesday. And they say that the infant was severely burned. I don't even want to read that again. Authorities have declined to provide much detail about the circumstances of the five month old Amir Kent's death, other than to say that the child was left in a bedroom in a car seat and that he apparently got out of the car seat and got onto the heater itself. The warrant added that neither Quantius or Aquanetta checked on the child during that entire period. The baby suffered multiple burns all over his body. In a small courtroom at the Bibb County Jail on Wednesday, uh, what's her name? Aqu what is her name? Aquanetta? Was that her name? Aquanetta and Quantius. I hate their names. Aquanetta and Quantius stood before the magistrate, Judge Valencia Davis Jones, and were informed that a superior court judge would have to set bond for them. Okay. How do you upgrade your channel membership? Let me see. Do you have channel membership? Yes, you do. Um, whenever you go to the channel membership, it should give you um, the first option, which is the children first advocate. The second uh, option is advocates for children, which is number two. The third one is AFC Premier. And I think it should be a drop down box. If you have any issues with that, let me know if you aren't able to figure it out. We'll help you figure that out for sure. Okay. Now, Hodge's brother, the other guy that lived there, is not facing any charges. He was interviewed and released. If he was there, how many of you guys believe that he should be charged just as well? Because I personally do. But nonetheless, let me go ahead and give you guys the fair usage. And there was only a couple of news videos. There weren't very many. But let me go ahead and give you guys this. And let's go ahead and start. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use. It is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. All right, here we go. Two people in the Bibb County Jail tonight charged with murder in the death of a five-month-old boy. Kayla Solomon explained what happened. People who live here along Bishop Road in West Macon say they were woken up to the sound of police cars and flashing lights. One woman said when she heard what happened on her street, she was horrified. How somebody can do that to a baby? How? 
Jackie Matthews has lived on Bishop Road for about three years. She says... Whoa! <sighs> oh my god. I gotta rewind this video. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Mmm! Two people in the Bibb County Jail tonight charged with murder in the death of a five-month-old boy. Kayla Solomon explained what happened. People who live here along Bishop Road in West Macon say they were woken up to the sound of police cars and flashing lights. <laughs> One woman said when she heard what happened on her street, she was horrified. How some back can do that to a baby? How? How? How can someone... Let me catch my breath. How? <laughs> Sorry guys, it's the Red Bull. Mm. Can a woman be that big on camera? God, dog. Woo! Jeez. Look at that. It's just like she's like wide. Like she's like wide. She's not even wide. She wide. Damn. Boy, them. I can't even make my arms jiggle like that. Lord have mercy. Gross. Now y'all know why I pick on big people. I'm just saying, because we tend to die of heart disease, right? Is that not a serious thing? Everybody worried about coronavirus, all while people out here is dying of heart attacks and heart disease. Just throwing it out there. Always use a great opportunity to talk about heart disease. Heart disease. Thought I'd throw that out there. Shout out to the big girls out there that don't give a shit about dying of heart disease. Damn it, man. Lights. One woman said when she heard what happened on her street, she was horrified. How some back can do that to a baby? How? Jackie Matthews has lived on Bishop Road for about three years. She says on Tuesday morning, she and her husband saw something that will haunt them forever. Somebody in an arm. You just can carry them in an arm and with a white sheet over them. What the hell did she just say? Now, whoever said stop fat shaming, she not ashamed of being fat. Shut your ass up. Said stop fat shaming. She is, how many of y'all think that she is ashamed of being fat? She don't give a shit about my words. She don't give a damn about nobody's words. She is eating everything at the dinner table. All right? She is not going to tell you that your food tastes bad. Just bring the food, okay? Yes, bitch. Bring me another plate. Yes. Do I want seconds and thirds? Do I want a, do I want a to go box? Yes. Yes. I want it all. You dig? Let's watch this again. Somebody in an arm. You just can carry them in an arm and with a white sheet over them. And we said, oh my God, that's a little bit of child. Deputy put a white sheet over them. Haunt them forever. Somebody in an arm. You just can carry them in an arm and with a white sheet over them. And we said, oh my God, that's a little bit of child. Guys, I don't be looking for these moments. They just happen. They just happen happen okay can somebody please translate and tell me what she just said i did not I, look i know i come from the hood i speak a little improper sometimes but i didn't understand a word that this woman just said 
Somebody's going to have to translate for me, please. Listen again. Somebody in an arm. You just can carry them in an arm and with a white sheet over them. And we say, oh my God, that's a little bit of child. Deputy Coroner Lonnie Miley says five-month-old Amir Kent was found dead around 6.30. Several hours later, the Bibb Sheriff's Office arrested mother Jalicia Kent and her boyfriend Quantius Hodges and charged them with murder. It's just a sad situation with a five-month-old uh, with a uh, tragic death this morning. According to the Sheriff's Office, Kent and Hodges left five-month-old Amir in a bedroom with a space heater around 10 p.m. on Monday night and did not check on him until the next morning. I said, Lord, what is wrong with these young people around here? I said, they're going to leave a five-month-old baby in a room with a space heater. Is they crazy? They're still in the early stages of the... It's just the way that she says it is funny as shit. Like, I got to hear that one more again. The space heater around 10 p.m. on Monday night and did not check on him until the next morning. Hey, you guys know that there is a function on YouTube for closed captions. Y'all might have to turn that on and maybe see if you can make out what she said. I'm just saying. Camila said, Jay, you are out. You are on timeout. I'm sorry. I've been a bad boy. I apologize. People's, people's eyes apologize. All right. If y'all think eyes, fat, shaming, fat people, I can guarantee you this. Fat people ain't ashamed of being fat when you got terms like BBW. When people think that just because you big, that makes you beautiful. And I'm like, no, no, eh, wrong. Beautiful is beautiful. There's a difference. Big ain't beautiful. Beautiful is beautiful. I'm just saying, let's respect the pecking order, right? Just throwing it out there. Just saying. A little food for thought. There was a baby in the room. There was a baby in the room. Miss Parker Lynn, you are absolutely right. With, with three grown people in the house and nobody for seven hours checked on a baby that was sitting in front of a space heater, literally cooking like a rotisserie chicken for seven hours. And they didn't smell no burning smell. They didn't think nothing. Just saying. I, I think they all should be charged. All three of them. I said, Lord, what is wrong with these young people around here? I said, they're going to leave a five-month-old baby in a room with a space heater. Is they crazy? They're still in the early stages of the investigation. In Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Matter of fact, while y'all talking about I'm fat shaming, why don't y'all find a fat person that's ashamed of what I just said? Them people are not ashamed of being big. They are big and happy. That I can guarantee you. They are jolly as hell. <laughs> They ain't worried about my words. Now, we asked the Bibb County Sheriff's Office why the couple was accused of murder rather than a manslaughter charge, and they did not explain except to say the charge was based, quote, on the action of the suspects. You can't. I meant to tell y'all, this is where they are at in court. You guys ready for this? And I want y'all to look at their demeanor. Pay attention to their demeanor. Let me bring this brightness down just a little bit so y'all can see this. Here we go. Listen at this. Ms. Kent, yes, Ms. Kent, you're charged with murder in the second degree family violence. Do we understand the charges? Yes, this court will not be granting you a bond. Do you need to have a commitment hearing? Mm -hmm. Need you to sign a waiver not saying that you're innocent or guilty. Conditions while you're in this jail is that you refrain from breaking any other laws, that you not be in possession of any dangerous weapon nor be in possession of and or consume any controlled substances. Do we understand? Yes, Camila is saying that they were not in the house. Are you saying that the adults weren't in the house? I would like to know what a dad is too, Addie. Thank you. Camila, tell me why, why are you saying that they weren't in the house? They, they would have had to be. Like, I couldn't imagine where else they could have been. Just nothing about this makes any sense. So you sent a PayPal? Yes, you did. Absolutely. Um, give me a second. I'm going to read them here in just a second. Let me let you guys listen to this. This is really, really short. I'm going to read it here in just a second, Ms. Parker, and everybody else who sent something. I'm going to read it here in just a moment. There is Kent. Yes, ma'am. Kent, you're charged with murder in the second degree family violence. 
Do we understand the charges? This court will not be granting your bond. Do you need to have a commitment hearing? No. Need you to sign a waiver not saying that you're innocent or guilty. Conditions while you're in this jail is that you refrain from breaking any other laws, that you not be in possession of any dangerous weapon, nor be in possession of and or consume any controlled substances. Do we understand? Yes, So y'all saw I'm not lying. Her name is Aquanetta. Aquanetta. Please check your email for more recent pictures of the baby. I sure will. Thank you, Delia. I'll do it right now. Do it from here. Thank you. And hey, Mr. Hodges. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Hodges, you're charged with murder in the second degree. Consent family violence. Do you need to have a commitment hearing? No. Do you understand the charges? Yes. You will not get a bond today. Do we understand? Yes. Just need you to sign a waiver. It's not saying that you are innocent or guilty, but that you are aware of the charges. The conditions while you're in this jail is that you not be in possession of any dangerous weapons, that you refrain from breaking. Uh, Refrain from breaking any other laws while you're in this jail and that you not have any violent contact with any and all law enforcement officers. Do we understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Now, Jason Voorhees. Vi what did y'all see that? What did that say? <laughs> Video by Jason Voorhees. I didn't edit that video. That's literally what it says. Now. I'm gonna point something out real quick, Addy, because I did find those pictures. Now, the pictures that you sent me actually came out around March of 2019, if I'm not mistaken. The only reason I know that is because I went to that page and found that picture. So if that particular picture that you sent me of that baby who was a lighter skinned baby, who I believe is her kid, but this, that's not the same kid that died. Because the kid that died is five months old. So if you back up five months from today, that'd be, let me see, we're in March, February, January, December, November, October. This baby would have been born at some time in October. This picture came from March of last year, the two pictures that you sent me. So this is how I had to rationalize it because I, and shout out to Church Lady Reed Show if she's still in the chat. We were talking about this earlier and I was like, I think I found the kid. And then I realized, wait a minute, that would make this kid about two years old. Now, the reason why any of this is significant and the reason why I cannot show that picture of that kid, because that kid is alive and that kid could be put at risk. And I don't want to put that kid on here because that's not the right kid. But that would make that kid at least two years old based on the way that he looks because he has on shoes and he looks like he can walk. So that means he at least have to be a year old and that was a year ago, which will make him about two years old now. That's kind of how I rationalize it in my head. That's how I figured out that's not the right kid. And the fact that that's a very light skinned kid and the kid that she has now that is not Quantius's kid is a dark skinned kid and not his kid. Meaning that you can clearly tell that she was having sex with multiple different kinds of men because her older two children were dark skin. This Red Bull show really is good, y'all. Watermelon, Red Bull, brand new. Gotta taste it. I only buy a couple of them. I can't drink these all the time. Why can't you find the father's name? Great question, because I could not find it either. I was barely able to find a picture of the kid because they did not refer to this kid by name at all. And the news did. That was the only way I was able to even give him a name. Otherwise, I would have at least found the picture because the Facebook pages were still active. Let me see. Why can't I find the father's name? Uh, not true. Uh, which part is not true? We'll try to We'll try to figure it out together. We'll try to figure out as much as we can together because I know we have a lot of resources here. A lot of people have access to Google. And I'm just saying, some people are a little bit more proficient with Google than I am. All of the babies are different shades. The first two kids that she have look like they're about 
seven, six and seven years old. This other kid looks like he's about two and then she has a baby that was five months old because once he died, he's posthumous this month, he died at five months old. So that's roughly about right because um, they all have this. Oh, you say they all have the same parents? Really? Ooh. Oh, oh, I, I see what you said. said my dad's siblings either are dark or really light brown. Damn, I would love to show you Parker Land. I can't show you on the screen right now, but I looked at the other kids. I looked at this woman's other key. As a matter of fact, I'll just pull it up. I can't show you guys on the screen right now before we wrap this story up, okay? But I can, let me look it up again just so I can remember what I was looking at. Her Facebook, matter of fact, y'all can look at the Facebook page yourself. Jalisha Aquanetta Kent, her page is still up. She had, yes, her oldest boy is dark skin. The girl right behind him is brown skin. Then she has a very, very, very light skin baby with a different grade of hair than the, than the first two kids. And then you have Emir Kent, the youngest baby, the five month old. I'm literally looking at that picture right now. And those kids don't look anything alike. The first two look like she had them those kids by the same guy. That third kid, there's no way. How do you spell the first name? Let me play the video. Let me show you. Here's Kent. Right there on my screen. Jalisha Aquanetta Kent. J-A-L-I-C-I-A. -I -I Go to her profile picture and look at the pictures yourself. And you tell me... The first two kids look like they got the same dad. That second, that third kid, no, no way. That third kid, and matter of fact, the fourth kid don't even look like any of them. So there is at least three dads, three. Because police reports confirm that Quantius is not the five month old's dad. Quantius at least has two children on his own and his Facebook page is open. Y'all can look this up. That's generally why I take my time before I do these stories because the information that I push out there, I generally try to make sure that I'm giving y'all as close to accurate as possible. But I think I'm right. Check it out and let me know if you find anything different. But that's what I found so far. But let me know. Well, this can't be a charge of murder in the second degree family violence. Do we understand the charges? This court will not be granting your bond. Do you need to have a commitment hearing? No. Need you to sign a waiver not saying that you're innocent or guilty. Conditions while you're in this jail is that you refrain from breaking any other laws, that you not be in possession of any dangerous weapon, nor be in possession of and or consume any controlled substances. Do we understand? Her third baby damn near had to be by a white man or just a really, 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 really light skinned black man. Maybe even somebody who's underneath the one, one drop rule. <laughs> He's very, 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 very light skinned. That is a mixed baby for sure. Thank you. Notice they didn't cry. She didn't sob. She didn't look sad. Guys, we're getting ready to launch these people to space. So y'all get y'all spaceship emojis ready. That's why I have on this 1976 NASA shirt. Y'all see that, right? Or it's the other side. United States of America. We're getting ready to vote that they should be put on the first rocket ship and launched out of space. Because I think that we got this correct. I really do. I think that they're both guilty. And I think that they should have charged the brother who was there at that house also. Hey, Mr. Hodges. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Hodges, you're charged with murder in the second degree. Consented family violence. Do you need to have a commitment hearing? No. 
Do you understand the charges? Yes. You will not get a bond today. Do we understand? Yes. Just need you to sign a waiver. It's not saying that you are innocent or guilty, but that you are aware of the charges. The conditions why you're in this jail is that you not be in possession of any dangerous weapons, that you refrain from break uh, refrain from breaking any other laws while you're in this jail, and that you not have any violent contact with any and all law enforcement officers. Do we understand? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, one more video, and then we're going to wrap up. I looked for the GoFundMe. I could not find the GoFundMe page at all. Guys, these stories are all very crazy. Every single one of them are crazy like this. I know it seems like it doesn't make any sense. Like, how can a story be this jacked up? It's just the decisions that we're making as a community. Matter of fact, uh... I'm going to read these donations here in a minute. I saw a very good size one come in. I'm going to read that here in just a moment. But let's wrap up. Here we go. Last video. Uh, but right now, it's just a sad situation with a five-month-old uh, with a uh, tragic death this morning. Okay, that was a very short video. But guys, let's go ahead and wrap this up, man. Let's wrap this up. You sent me a link. Let me see what you sent me. Coroner accepting donations. Okay. Yes. The coroner is, which I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, Delia. I thought this was a little bit weird. When I saw this earlier. The coroner, and yes, the page is going to lag a little bit. That's why I generally don't want to pull these links up while I'm live. I'm going to lag a little bit. Okay. The county coroner, Leon Jones, says he is accepting donations for the five-month-old to have him buried at Bentley and Sons Funeral Home. Let me copy this because I can tell I'm, I'm uh, this thing is buffering. Sorry, I, I had to close that out. Let me uh, open up WordPad. The, co the coroner is accepting donations to bury this baby at Bentley and Sons Funeral Home. And they say that you can write the checks out directly to Bentley and Sons Funeral Home. Does anybody see what's wrong with that? That's the look on his face in court. That nigga looks slower than a damn turtle in the ice. I want to see if anybody catches that. What's wrong with the coroner accepting donations to give to the funeral home? Does anybody catch anything wrong with that? I'll wait. I know you guys are about 30 seconds behind me. Camila got it. Camila got it. Y'all see what she wrote? The coroner, not a family member. Thank you, Delia. Thank you, Camila. There is not one concern with the baby's family. Thank you, Ms. Parker Lynn. No family. Where are the cousins? Where are the sisters, brothers, grandparents, anybody? No type of distant relatives? The one and only, not even the biological father of the kid has come out. Why is it that nobody has come out and said anything? Not one family member. They let the coroner come out and say, you know what? We, we need to try to make sure and get this baby buried. Not one family member. Seriously, nobody at all. Y'all, do you think they're going to just let that ride? Like nobody's going to step in and take credit for that? My closing thoughts. Let's talk about that screenshot right there. And then I'm going to wrap this up. Keisha, uh, not Keisha, but an MMO family girl. I feel you, sweetheart. I promise you guys, I'm going to do better and not do these streams so late. I truly apologize. And I'll try to go back to editing these things so y'all can watch them in the morning, the shorter versions. 
I want to point something out about this screenshot here. There's somebody that called this out earlier on Facebook. Ignore the other names that are on there. There's only one name that really matters in this situation, which is Diamond Dior. One of the first people that hopped on their page and said this. Diamond Dior said, that baby don't look like him because it's not even his. But we found that out from the news article. Don't you think if he wouldn't have placed him in front of the heater and closed the door for him to die. His kids are alive and well and were obviously not placed in front of a heater from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. How odd is it that he placed the baby there and he was and, and he was the one checked, found him the next morning? She wrote it a little wrong, but it's okay. I'm gonna just read it how she wrote it. How odd is it that he posts this also caring picture a week before these stupid women need to stop putting me in before their children because a loving caring mother would never let something like this happen. Hashtag wake up people. The reason why I point this out. The reason why I point this out is because I have been begging for the good women to speak up and speak out against the bad mothers out there. Speak out against the bad apples. Let the world know that not all of them are like this. And that was an example of a person, not and, and y'all too, but that was a good example and another example of our women stepping up and speaking up for what's right and standing up against women like this that make us all look bad. Standing up against dudes like this that make us all look bad. This woman didn't give a damn about that kid whatsoever. There is absolutely no reason why this woman should not have known what was going on with her baby for an entire seven hours. And it don't seem like any of them were working. So one would also have to ask, how were they able to fund their lifestyle for a car, for clothes, for food, for all this floss and stuff that they doing? Like, what were they, what were they doing? Somebody pointed out in the chat that they said maybe drugs were involved. Possibly. Because how else do you fund a lifestyle like that when you don't work a terrestrial job or you don't have a business? All these kids and not one caring parent. That little boy that y'all see on my screen right there and I'm thankful that I was able to find his picture so I could put some real respect on his name, should not have to be buried by the coroner. That doesn't even sound right. And y'all see clearly where her focus was. Y'all see this? Do y'all see this picture? Her focus was not on her kid. This woman put her child behind her man. Look at these other two kids. Remember I told y'all they had other kids. Look, and I covered up their faces, but look who's giving a bottle to the baby. I know uh, to a lot of y'all, that picture looks cute. That looks like a cute picture. And maybe most of the time, it would be. But something tells me that nobody really gave a shit about that kid. It seems like they took that picture to try to make themselves to try to get to try to get attention to try to get likes to try to get comments and elicit something from people on Facebook that they don't even know get people to come in oh y'all look so cute oh congratulations to y'all family let's give you a thumbs up let's give you a proverbial hug y'all so cute together girl i'm so happy for you and that you found your man and the love of your life After producing four children and requiring not one man to commit to you before producing another child. The bar is so low, it's damn near on the ground. These type of women, hashtag not all, but these type of women have no standards. To sleep with a woman like that is nothing. 
All you got to do is have a heartbeat. Literally. Have we really sunk that low as a people, as human beings, let alone the black community, just as a human? That's the best you could do? That's that's what your child died for? For, for that slow looking motherfucker right there? What cannot happen is we cannot continue to settle and put our children's lives at risk. That cannot happen. I have absolutely no sympathy for these two jackasses right here. And in my opinion, NASA should be getting some letters right about now. What do y'all think about that? You know what I'm going to call them? I'm going to call her pitiful pussy. That's what I'm going to call her. Pitiful pussy. 30 years old with not one, not two, not three, but four kids at 28 years old, four kids and still no husband. Pitiful. That's pitiful. And that dude ain't no father. That nigga is not a father. He is a weak ass, fake ass boy toy. Worth nothing. All those type of men are good for is exactly what the private prisons are built for. That's all they're good for. Free labor for private prisons so they can get millions of dollars so that they can have their lineage be rich as shit off of us doing dumb shit. They say it's the white man that I should fear. But guess who's killing all the kids here? A lot of people that tend to share my skin color. A lot of men that people look at us and they can't tell the difference. But that's why our behavior has to be different because there has to be something that separates us because the world is getting absolutely tired of this. I know I am and I'm tired of the abuse of these children and these two need to be judged to the furthest extent of the law and for what they did to that baby, there is no excuse for it. There can never be an excuse for it. Emir Kent deserved an opportunity to live. Why couldn't he have been just given to his biological father? Maybe we don't know who he is, but the mom did. Or at least I hope. I hope. I hope she knows who the dad is. Maybe she don't know. But if she does know who the biological father is, then maybe she would have given the biological father an opportunity to raise him. He didn't have to die and you didn't have to let your boyfriend kill him. You could have just given up custody and let go of the benefits that you were going to collect from that kid. So you and your fake ass boy toy boyfriend could have went on and lived a happily slow ass life together. Think about that. These Black people are not efficient at all. Three niggas living in a home and three niggas can't watch after one little baby. Seven hours. Most adults don't even sleep for seven hours. How does nobody check on that baby for seven hours? It's beyond me. It is inexcusable. And that baby deserved better. And I think that we're going to get justice and I hope that we see justice soon. May those two rest in hell and rest in piss. And I hope that they get all types of justice served in the criminal system while they're in jail. But let me say this to that beautiful little baby boy, to Emir Kent, young prince, you deserve better. Just know that there are people in this world that do care and we wish that we would have had an opportunity to watch you grow and be something great what an amazing smile what a beautiful baby boy and if we at the afc the advocates for children want to wish emir kent a sincere r.i.p god in heaven has a special place 
for that baby boy right there. Okay. I want to thank you guys for coming through and listening to the story. And I thank you, you guys participation in the chat to everybody. I thank you guys so much. I'm DJ just J O K with just dimes and I'm the host of the AFC podcast where we advocate for children. First, we're going to always speak for children who cannot speak for themselves. And we are always going to speak for children who cannot defend themselves against the tyranny of their own caretakers. Okay. We have to do.